Hello everyone, and welcome to episode one of Working Out with Inglewood Public Library. So we're going to start off with some stretches. Um, our first one being the arm swings. It's a very simple exercise. We're just going to swing our arms across the chest. Um, this will stretch out the shoulders, the biceps, um, the, the pectoral muscles. It's just a very good general stretch to begin with. And so we're going to do that for about 30 seconds to just get the body going. Stretch number two is going to be our cross arm stretch. Now with this cross arm stretch, we're really getting into the, the shoulder muscle and the bicep and tricep muscles are also being stretched somewhat. Don't um, strain your arm when you're doing this stretch, just go to the natural, you know, angle your shoulder would like to go and stretch that out. Do not force it. And after that, our third stretch is going to be touching your toes. So you're going to spread your feet out about shoulder length. And then you're going to reach down and attempt to touch the ground and your toes. You can switch off between reaching for the ground and reaching for your toes. And you can try to reach the ground, but don't strain yourself. make a light effort but do not strain yourself and you want to do this until you're just about able to reach the ground or your toes or you know as much as you can do do not strain yourself All right, and after we're stretched up, we are ready to begin our exercises. So first thing, we'll be doing 10 push-ups. No hands about shoulder length apart. You wanna try and get your back flat, as flat as you can and then let yourself down with gravity and push yourself back up. I do my best to keep my elbows going back when I do my push-ups, but if your elbows go out to the sides, it is okay. So we're doing 10 of these, going down and then pushing up with your pectoral and bicep muscles. There we go. That's 10. So I've included another angle here. So you can see form properly. Keep your head up as well as you can. Your head and your chest up. Try and let your elbows go back and pre 
prevent them from going out at the sides. That will maximize the exercise. And next, we'll be going into 25 bicycle crunches. Um, and in comparison to a normal crunch, I find the bicycle crunch far easier on the back. So the point of this exercise is basically to get your elbow to your opposite knee. So your left elbow to your right knee and your right elbow to your left knee. You don't actually need to touch it, just attempt that motion. And you're gonna repeat that sort of balancing on the small of your back. And this is a great exercise for your abs and the side of your abs as well. And following that, we're going to do 10 squats. So bring your hands up to your chest. That's how I prefer to do them. To keep your chest upright, you're gonna fall with gravity and push up with your glutes. So I've included a second angle of the squats as well. Keeping the hands up at the chest helps to keep the chest straight up. You just want to drop straight down and then push up with the glutes. Keep your abs tight while you're doing this to maximize the exercise. And you're going to want to repeat this routine five times or as many as you can. And here's our challenge exercise for those who are still not feeling the burn burpees. So we're going to do five burpees. You're essentially doing a push up. You're hopping up towards your hands and then springing to the sky. So here we go, five burpees. And the burpees are, are actually very difficult. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please visit library.cityofinglewood.org to see more library programming and learn about our reopening procedures.